So I'm waiting for the call. The call. Hello, good afternoon. Emma speaking with Georgia Rankin. Well, I don't even know where to begin. This is where the results came in. So if I don't laugh, I will cry. There is no better feeling than hair wash day. What in the baby Jesus is going on? Oh, wow. With a hair stuck to my nail. Why can I not look like the pretty girls? Most girls look so pretty coming out of the shower. And then I look like this coming out of the shower. Not it, is it? Anyway, I've had a shower, as you can clearly see. I've washed my hair. I've got a towel on my head. And I'm now just going to wash my face. A Frenchy hair. She's a clean queen. She is a clean queen. I've had... Oh, having my hair done last week and oh my god it just feels really nice to have my roots done because normally when i've had my hair washed my root powder comes out and all of my baldness is showing but because i've had my root root because i've had my hair freshly done this is like my first hair wash where i actually feel not really ugly and vulnerable because my actual scalp is dying so it's not making me feel like a bald cat. A bald cat. A hairless cat. That's how I normally feel. So I have just washed my hair. I've popped in. Oh, I've just struck it. I've just popped in some leave in conditioner in it. It dries so quick, my hair. But I'm actually currently waiting for a call from my doctor in London. Who means my I don't know what it is. Send me to surgery. I was not nervous. Waiting for a call from your doctor, especially because he's like my big, big doctor in London. Like, yeah? It scares me. So I'm waiting for the call. The call. Hello, good afternoon. Emma speaking with Georgia Rankin. Hello, good afternoon. Last May with Mr. Glass, that right? Yes. Grand. Um, in the last scan we had at the time, showed that you didn't have any stones. I actually just made myself a gorgeous. This is basically my new obsession. This is my fruit tea. I think it's like a berries fruit tea from, I think it's Twinings, but I love flavoured tea at the minute. It's become a new little obsession of mine to just drink fruit tea obviously I, have, I love a good cup of tea tea literally runs through my veins at this point but i'm really enjoying like a fruit tea like a you know a herbal kind of tea in the afternoon or maybe at night i don't know what it is it's, i literally don't have anything in this i've just got a pure fruit tea and it is quite bitter but i really really love them if you guys have any recommendations of some herbal fruit teas then please let me know because i really love this kind of tea. I can't believe this is a new me, but yeah, I mean, I'm always a tea drinker, you know me, but this and a cup of tea are like my two favourite drinks, and I think it's because I no longer have alcohol anymore. This has become like my new treat, and I really love it. The last clip that you just saw was me picking up the phone to the doctor that I thought was my surgeon that I was going to speak to that I was really excited about speaking to because I was thinking I'm going to be one step closer to knowing more information knowing what's going on really with my health, my body why I still feel like this why I'm literally just quite literally just existing on the bare minimum energy and well, I don't even know where to begin so the woman basically on the phone call wasn't my doctor basically a urologist who works in london who obviously is part of the urologist kidney team now she rang up and was basically acting like she had no idea what had gone on and just asking how i've been since my operation and like the casual you know catch up chat after you have after like an operation you have a few months later basically that telephone call so she had no idea that this had been going on these, these problems and everything infections my urine looking the color of mulled wine all of this me really really struggling all of this going on she had no idea so she was thinking that she was just ringing me 
another person just on the list going through checking how they've been after the operation just so they can basically tick them off now i was like okay i've not been good told her thinking that it's gonna rejig something thinking that she's been told or somewhere along the line she's gonna go oh okay yeah you're george ranking i know the situation she then says oh okay we'll just book you in for a ct scan and she says this literally two weeks after i've had a T ct scan so i had to basically say i've had a ct scan you guys were the ones who organized it so the communication is obviously i get it communication obviously is very very poor there's just non it's just non-existent so she had no idea she's just going through this list whoever's told her to go through this list the poor woman is just doing what she's been told and then you've got me going, hang on, why do you not know anything that's going on? I'm thinking this telephone call is to talk about my CT scan results and at least get somewhere with what's been going on. She then went away, obviously said, listen, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'll go back on whatever, speak to whoever. I, I know I keep saying this, but he's a very big name in London, so he's on demand he's always he's got a massive list of patients he's not just like your regular doctor he is a a very worshipped man <laughs> like he is literally god in london and i get it it's hard to get hold of him it's hard to even have a conversation with him like even me being on the ward would be there for everyone because obviously everybody needs a piece of him the lady ended up going off the call. I came off the call a little, you know, disappointed because I was thinking, well, that was a bit of a waste of time. I'm there waiting all morning. They waited, I think, like till late. I think it was like quite late in the afternoon. My telephone consultation was, my telephone call was earlier on and this call was basically in the afternoon. So I'd been hanging around waiting on basically half an hour on the phone just to basically be repeating myself which just didn't feel like i'd got anywhere and then apparently i think my mum said that something came through that they were going to bring me back now i said that's not going to happen like we're going to have to chase this again because this is the thing we're gonna we do end up having to chase this my gp has been amazing and she's also been helping us trying to move things along chase london so that you know to get the ball rolling um and then basically we got a i think mum got a some kind of text or whatever actually did you know keep to her words and she has booked or put me in for a for an appointment for a few weeks so they can basically so they can talk about my results of my ct scan now at this point i should have way had my ct scan results i've been waiting for so long and i'm there thinking well you know this this phone call today was meant to be for my results and then to still not get my results yet london have got them my gp would have had them and then i'm still at home thinking what's going on i have no idea what's going on in my own body it's frustrating so my gp again being the angel she is she ended up ringing like well i say me she ended up ringing my mum all of my hospital stuff they have my mum's telephone because one she's way easier to get hold of two i'm probably asleep at this point if anyone's gonna try and ring me i'm probably passed out like fully not with it so you might as well just get in contact with my mum who's way far way more with it i struggle especially with this now like i really struggle with brain fog um it's something that i've never experienced before and this is a whole nother level like i can barely remember much anymore my brain just doesn't function like it used to because of how much my body i guess is going through so my mum got a phone my mum got a phone call off the GP and she said that my CT scan results were at the GP and I can basically get them instantly by going to her and collecting them. So my dad went to 
My, went, my dad ended up just picking them up at my local doctor's, which was so lovely of them because they fully printed it off and we had them. And <laughs> this is where the results came in. So I'm laughing, like I'm literally laughing because it's hilarious at this point. So if I don't laugh, I will cry. <laughs> this is my therapy support, my lip balm. If I don't laugh, I will genuinely cry because this is not what I expected or wanted. So originally, if I'm honest, in my head, I was thinking, you know, I left my surgery five days after my surgery. I had a scan that day and I was given the all clear. I was given, no, you're free of stones in the only kidney that had stones. So, you know, the surgery kidney, which is my left one currently. And yeah, we basically just got told that I've got no stones left. Half of them are in the lab, half of them are in the kitchen drawer that my mum has kept in a test tube. And you know, you're gonna heal, you're fine, you're, you're good to go, live your life. I then obviously have all these symptoms, these regular weird flare up infections. I have daily pain. I feel like I am just about surviving barely surviving every day it's like a constant you know just about just about holding on every day because I've not got the energy I've not got the appetite I'm just not the same since my surgery I'm thinking my kidney pain that I now get I'm thinking that's to do with maybe scar tissue because again I've heard that's a thing maybe I'm just taking extra long to recover I don't know, I'm a medical mystery, so nothing comes as a surprise. <laughs> me being me, I am a medical mystery, as they call it. So on the results of my CT that I had a few weeks ago, it said that I <sighs> I have kidney stones. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I have kidney stones still in my left kidney that was seen on my previous scans. So basically I had my surgery and not all of them have obviously gone or been removed, even though I've had a drain, the, the devil that is the drain that has absolutely traumatized me to another level that has given me the worst PTSD I've ever, ever had. I still have bad dreams about it to this day, which is terrible. Like no one can touch me in my no one can touch my lower back because i i freak i do freak i have a bit of meltdown not only does that traumatize me i i'm there thinking it's gone no so i still have kidney stones in my left kidney i also have kidney stones <laughs> in my right kidney so basically i have kidney stones in both my kidneys three years later i still have kidney stones. Now, this kind of makes sense in a weird way. When I read this and got told this by my mum, it was kind of a relief because I thought, oh, well, that makes me kind of understand now that why I do get random infections in my left one because the one that I had in November, was it November? One of the bad infections that I had in November was in my left kidney literally crippled in my left kidney and my mum was so confused and way before my surgery my mum genuinely must have thought i was going insane because i was crying saying i'm in pain with my left kidney not both so we've been told all of this for three years that it's only been my left kidney this side of me that had had the kidney stones to then have my ct scan Literally a few weeks ago, well, I say that, end of January, I had my CT scan and the results now say that I have kidney stones in both my kidneys. But I've had this kidney pain, random, not as bad, and it hasn't been nowhere, nowhere near as bad as my left kidney. My left kidney is my biggest, you know, problem. Like, this is an everyday thing for my left kidney. My right one is every now and then, but my left one is what? genuinely affects me day to day and affects my life and everything but my left one is only now and then so it's like a very rare random flare-up 
but it confused me because I was like, well, why am I having these flare-ups? I've got no kidney stones in this kidney. So why, you know, doesn't make sense. Obviously, it now makes sense. I do have kidney stones in both kidneys. Again, we have no clue why. We don't even know how because I, it, it's annoying when I drink a pathetic amount of water. Like I literally drink two and a half litres a day, probably more, which is a lot for my little body. And it's something that you just cannot control. These kidney stones, like they are obviously calcium as well. It has got to do with like my past medications and things because I was on certain medications years ago that I was on for a long, long time. I think maybe things in the past have now basically affected me now in the future. And I also have, I have a gallstone, a beautiful, stunning, glorious gallstone. Now, again, this was slightly picked up in, oh my God, my very first ultrasound when they first discovered it back three years ago. So when I was still at older hay. Now, obviously, do you remember that video? It was years and years ago. That was when they picked up this gallstone, but they didn't say anything. A stone in my gallbladder, gallstone. I don't know. Now they didn't say anything, so it wasn't an issue. So obviously I don't think it's affecting me. If I'm honest, I've never, never known I've got it. Obviously, the only thing that affects me is my kidney pain in my left one. We see in my right, but now and then. So this gallstone, it does confuse me because I had no idea this was a thing. They did mention it, like I said, three years ago, but because they hadn't mentioned it again on any of my scans that I've had, because I've had lots of CT, I've just thought, well, it's obviously not, not there or it was an accidental, like, you might have a gallstone, but you might not. It's one of them things. If they don't mention it again, then obviously I'm just thinking, well, it's clearly not a problem because it's not affecting me and yeah it's now been picked up again but it's bigger this time so uh, yeah i literally i don't know so whatever questions you guys have i really don't know because you literally know as much as me i just have no idea what's going on so at the minute i'm just still like plodding on still plodding on still struggling with my kidney pain especially in my left one, like even now it's slightly like there in the background, but it goes really bad. It can get so strong. It just makes me not want to eat, which is obviously hard because I'm trying to, trying to get my appetite back, but my appetite has literally never been the same since I had my surgery. I've not ate the same since then or anything. It's just weird. Like, it's just obviously not been the same ever since I had my kidney surgery, which is quite sad, really. But here's me thinking that life would be much better after it and I would be happier, healthy, nearly a year later. So it'll be a year in beginning of June that I've had surgery and we're nowhere. Like, we're no different. In fact, we're just almost the same same position so yeah that's the results very confusing i have no idea what's going on um my next the next thing now is to basically have my telephone call with whoever from london in a few weeks i'm not sure of the date so again i will update you guys as soon as that happens because as uh, I don't know, for me, I feel like having this on my YouTube and having this kind of like diary, I guess, is not only something that I think is really nice and personal to share for you, but I think it's also important because genuinely, if I had something like this online for me to kind of relate to or to to kind of watch, I would have really appreciated that because I had no idea what I was going into when I was getting my surgery and all this pain. I still obviously am in the dark in a lot of the time, but at least I've gone through, <laughs> at least I've gone through hell and can kind of be that video for someone who 
was I can kind of add that video for someone who needs it I don't know I just feel like not only is it a diary for you guys to kind of watch and feel like you're really in my life with me and feel a part of this journey because it is my life I'm not gonna hide this like my YouTube is my life diary and I really like that I'd rather reflect the reality than just mask it and give you guys all of these fake you know scenarios and fake alter ego persona it's not me it's not me anymore i'm really gonna feel like you guys are living my life with me and that's important to me because i think i want to make sure that my youtube is a platform that people come on to and relate to or we're basically on a facetime call you know basically that's my health update that's the ct scan results not what i wanted in my head I've actually come out worse i've now got kidney stones in both kidneys originally it was just one and i don't even know how to feel point at this point i will admit i think i've just gone beyond being sad and i'm just like you know what forget forget it i'm just gonna have to deal with it full throttle, full throttle. i'm just gonna deal with it hard first and literally laugh because i will cry otherwise and you know i have you guys who support me and are there for me and genuinely make me so happy in the comments and that is why i adore doing this even if you see me in my most ugly states like even though you do see me in my worst the most ugliest states i appreciate you and you are basically my family at this point because you support me more than them dare i say you support me more than my own family <laughs> i probably shouldn't say that but it's true you guys give me the support that i could only only wish for so thank you thank you thank you thank you i know again i've not been here um uploading as regularly as i want to but like i said i always will try my very best and upload every week you know if i can i'll upload twice a week but i'll give you an update once i've had my telephone call in a few weeks and then again i say in a few weeks it's probably not too long and then i'll give you another update health wise but the rest of my vlogs will just be very normal very real reflection of my real life so yeah i am gonna love you and leave you guys for this video and i'll see you guys in i love and appreciate you and i will see you guys in my next vlog